Good morning, Mendes. It is Thursday, January 30th. Yeah, Mendes, we're respectful, responsible, and ready. Let's start the show. Mendez wants to congratulate Mr. Cisneros on his new book, Afrin Divided. The novel just received a third star review from Publishers Weekly. This is Mr. Cisneros' first published novel, and it is scheduled for the release on March 31st. So be sure to pre-order a copy on Amazon.com or other online resources. Congratulations again to Mr. Cisneros. Attention all students. There will be an informational meeting this Thursday for the upcoming sport teams right after school in the gym. The upcoming sports are girls basketball and boys soccer. So if you are interested in playing a sport this semester, please plan on attending the meeting. Calling all singers, dancers, and magicians. Do you have a secret or not so secret talent that you would like to share with Mendez? See Ms. Castro in room 223 for more details regarding the talent show. Soccer clinics will take place again this Saturday, but there will be a big change. Soccer clinics will only be for Mendez students. Mr. Torres can no longer accept high school players attending soccer clinics. So please let your high school friends know that they can no longer participate in Saturday soccer clinics. Attention students, if you need additional help or would like to join Gate Symposium, you are invited to join Ms. Salas this Saturday. She will be mentoring students who want to participate, so be sure to talk to Ms. Salas in room 208 this week. Great job speech and debate on your hard work and participation in the biggest middle school tournament in California. Five of our students got and went to the finals and two went to the semifinals. We would like to say thank you for your hard work and your dedication. We're taking this week off from practicing and we will be back and running on Tuesday. Ever heard all babies look alike? You can prove that wrong by sending your baby or toddler photos to Mr. Hoffman for the yearbook. The deadline to submit the photos is Thursday, February 20th. Hi, my name is Joseph. My name is Nathan. If you want to join our band for the talent show, we need a, we need a vocalist. We need a singer. We, we, need, a vocalist. we need a singer. Yes. <laughs> you can find us at lunch or nutrition or after school or before school. Thank you. to do uh, while I was in middle school uh, is after school I would just play we would play in the neighborhood we played baseball we played soccer uh, there was an open lot next to the house where I grew up and so my favorite thing to do was to be outside with my brothers and neighbors and just you know playing uh, playing football baseball or any of the sports that we can play out there and soccer so <clears throat> I didn't really have a favorite brand uh, you know my parents I grew up in a very humble household and so uh, we didn't really have brands, uh, but I guess if you can say what my favorite band, brand was, uh, was uh, I do remember getting a, a Nike sweatshirt and that was my favorite sweatshirt because I, I, I got that. So uh, I listened to a lot of uh, rancheras, a lot of mariachi music, uh, Vicente Fernandez, Antonio Aguilar, Pepe Aguilar, those were the kind of music that I liked uh, listening to growing up, uh, sprinkled with uh, some, uh, some hip hop and some rap. So I didn't watch a lot of TV, actually. I spent most of my time outside of the house and then we had one, one TV in the house, so. Um, but when I did get a chance to play, it was either playing uh, Nintendo. Um, I remember playing uh, Super Mario Brothers. And then uh, as far as favorite TV show, I used to watch uh, the original Power Rangers. My favorite thing to do in middle school was ride my bike after school. So I like probably Vans. TV shows, probably He-Man and Voltron, and Thundercats. Uh, baby long hair music. 
My favorite TV show was Get Smart, and the only video game was probably Pong. Maybe the first version of Donkey Kong. Favorite thing to do in middle school was listen to music. Um, gosh, I loved my guest jeans when I was in middle school. Um, anything on K-Rock, 91X. I used to love like The Breakfast Club and 16 Candles. What was your favorite thing to do in middle school? Oh, in middle school, puras travesuras. Whatever I can get away with, pretty much. What was your favorite brand or style of clothing? Um, I think my favorite style was when the grunge movement came in, because you could wait, literally wake up, you didn't have to iron your clothes, you could wear your sweats, wear your sandals, you didn't have to comb your hair. It was awesome. I'm actually trying to bring the look back. What music did you listen to? Um, I loved, uh, well, I had ambitions of becoming a rapper when I was younger too, so I love rap, but I also love uh, heavy metal, I like everything except for country music, well there's a few jams that I do like. And what were your favorite movies, TV shows, or video games? Ooh, video games? Uh, Alex Kidd in Wonder World was one of my favorite video games ever, but I didn't know how to defeat the dragon at the end, so... But um, when I was a kid, my mom would give me one quarter to go play video games, and I would go to the arcade and I played Galaga. One quarter, I'd be there all day. And um, did you consider yourself a trendsetter? A trendsetter? Um, let's just say I was the first person to ever wear canvas shoes when they weren't popular, and all of a sudden, all I can say is everybody wears them now. So you decide if I'm a trendsetter or not. Mr. C, when does your book come out? Oh, that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked. It actually doesn't come out till March 31st. However, it is available on pre-order. Thanks for reviewing Mustangs. Remember, we are respectful, responsible, and ready. Have a wonderful Thursday, scholars. Goodbye.